and that you resigned. But there was an assertion that you had been forced to resign. From what you have said, it looks like circumstances around the calls for demonstrations and calls for your resignation is what made you resign and you have asserted that you resigned to save the country from bloodshed and people dying in your name. My third question to you, Commissioner Cherera, you say you spoke on behalf uh, and you have rightly put it, the four of you are Christian, the Cherera four. <laughs> Maybe Kenyans uh, liked you more than, <laughs> liked your face more than because you are more on TV, being in charge of communication, and that's why you are, they were Christian the Cherera for. But, uh, is she still there? Yes, she is. Okay. But you have asserted that you would communicate on behalf of the commission. You have both asserted that you did not see any Form 34C you did not tally, but Commissioner Cherera, I do remember you somewhere around Serena announcing results. What results were you announcing? Where did that tally come from if you were not involved in any tally? And why did you not adduce that evidence before the Supreme Court? And I, as I said, we are not uh, litigating the Supreme Court again but why did you not adduce evidence before the Supreme Court that not a single 34 C was seen by yourselves? You did not adduce any single form that differed from the forms that were on the portal. The Supreme Court verified those uh, results that were in the portal. And you did not, why did you not then, did you not trust, because there are things you are saying you cannot tell us, did you not also trust the Supreme Court of this Republic? Thank you, Thank you. I can come Thank back. you, Chair. Then, uh, Maybe Masid can go first. Yeah, because mine are few. Um, Thank you, Chairman. One, I want to say for record that I am strengthened. Actually, before I resigned. And that one, it's on record in my case in court. And uh, my lawyer is aware. My lawyer is... Uh, Donald Kikori, and I think if you want to hear more, maybe you can invite him to share more life because that is in court. But I straightened that time that one I said, but this one, it was urgent. I could not, I could not uh, do it because um, I could not report because people followed me. I ignored for some time, but that night on Saturday, going to Sunday morning, people came to run my gate. And I had to sneak a check with bike and I was through the back door gate, took a motorbike, went to, let me disclose the committee in confidence, went to Nanaya because I could not trust them. Commissioner, Commissioner, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. I, I would just beg you answer the question straight up. Did you report to the police? Because that was a more of the direct question. Or you reported to your lawyer, Donald Kipkorir? Are you still online? She has muted the mic. Are you hearing me? I'm on the line. Yeah, we were, we were pleading. Yes. Uh, yes. Instead of narrating the circumstances, the question was rather yes. direct as to whether you reported specific threats to the police, yes, no, I, other than to your lawyer. The police. I reported to the lawyer, the first one, but the second one I didn't have time because with those people were closing in on me, and the only thing was to take a motorbike to the airport with my passport. So the straight answer is I that you never to reported to the police. And left the country that night. You never reported to the police, you reported to lawyer Donald Kip Korir. No, no, there were two threats. The first one is to the lawyer, uh -huh. because I was still in the country. The second one, when I left the country, it was at night, I took a motorbike to the airport, paid cash, and I was the last one in the manifest, and I left that night. I didn't have even time to report because I was but saving you, my life that time. So you so did not report. report to the police? Yes, I didn't report that one when I was leaving. Because you, you I, I told my the lawyer, incident, my let me get it right, Commissioner, the incident happened at night? Yes. 
you took a motorbike at night? At night? To the airport? I left the country at night. You left the country at night? Meaning yes. you also got the ticket at night? And a plane yes. was waiting for you at around, night? Okay. That night around, um, yes. Late night? You had a ticket and ready? I think the last one. With a ticket ready for an international flight. I caught it. Uh, I, had, I had to get a connection from Kenya to Amsterdam because that time I didn't have an invitation to US where I am. I had a, a ticket for Canada. I had sorry, a visa for Canada and US, but for Canada. Commissioner Masit, uh, I'm asking Canada another Canada. very direct question to you. Canada. Commissioner Masit, I am asking another very direct question to you. Yes. An incident happened at night. You took a border yes. border at night. No, night. The, the incident happened of night of Saturday. Saturday night. Okay. And you. Saturday night. Then I disappeared on Saturday night. The same night. My colleagues closed. Uh -huh. Hello? Uh -huh. And stayed there to organize for a ticket on Sunday night. So you left on Sunday night? Na Sunday night, yes. Because uh. I had to get cash. To have it uh, paid, and I had to get um, okay, okay, to okay, do it, okay. Not, not Maybe to that, 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 I was with a person at the airport. That, that's good enough. I'm sorry, I'm pushing you. I'm just trying to save time. Yes. Maybe Honorable yes. uh, uh, Commissioner Chera can answer the other questions. Finally, finally, before I finish, uh, Chair, allow me just to say thank you to Honorable Michimo Amalo. It's my year at the University of Nairobi. When I was doing law, I was doing it here, and then I went to do law later. That's the reason why I could not resign, because the, the truth has to come out. Somebody has to stand for my colleagues who at that time also they were facing the same. But I had to, the fact that I come from Rift Valley, nobody wants to see me there. I'm qualified, I'm called a picture, traitor. They say even uh, the chair is worse than a mother. That's what they call me nowadays. I was removed from all WhatsApp groups, and I'm suffering here. You people, you need to listen to us. We, 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 we sincerely... Thank you. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Irene. We sincerely you. sympathize with you. And uh, we you. pray for your safety, wherever you are and uh, whenever you come back here. But we would encourage you to have all those reports made to the police so that if there are specific threats, they're investigated. Commissioner Charela. I cannot come now until you are ready. Thank you. <laughs> Commissioner Cherera. Uh, 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 thank you, Kocha. Uh, Kocha, you said that at Serena we had our own result. I wish that committee will play the clip at Serena Hotel. We did not have our own result. What we said is that the results that were going to be announced, we disowned them because of the manner of opaqueness that <laughs> that last fest was handled. Uh, yeah. That's what we said. We didn't say that we had our own results. That's why we are saying now yeah. that result needs to be audited. And this is not of our own. It is even in law that any election needs to be verifiable and can be audited at any other particular time. So it is not something that will begin now. It is there in the election act. We emphasize that it should be audited and the servers to be opened. Chair, uh, Chair my name is Catherine and my sister Cherera. In your own words, you said the results were handwritten and the results even exited 100%. And how come you never mentioned this to the Supreme Court? You're mentioning it to us here. And those you brought as even the substantiators of the same never brought it and never, you know, substantiated anything. In your own words, um, surely. Uh, honorable committee, the I commissioner. Also invite you commissioner. to my affidavit to the Supreme Court. Whatever we are saying now, it is in our affidavit that we filed at the Supreme Court. Unfortunately, it's like nothing or not everything was read through. We explained everything that we said 
and after the Supreme Court gave its ruling, we say we abide by that because it is the apex court of our country. And as law-abiding citizens, we said, yes, we accept it. And from that day henceforth, the Cherera folk have never spoken until today. Let me submit to this honorable committee that everything we have said, it is in our affidavit. Okay, the commissioner, I will request that you allow us